to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for August the 22nd through September the 2nd. Look, before I go any further, um, I'm hoping that you will be watching this on Sunday, preferably before 5.30 p.m. because I'm organized, and of course, if you are in New York, I'm organizing a beach cleanup. And I would love it if you would join us. It's so much fun. The kids really get into it. They talk about it. They take, you know, they talk about it at school. They really get, to, they're asking questions. And, and it's a really uh, wonderful example um, to set for your children and we have a we have a blast when we do it so I'll bring the rubber gloves and the uh, trash and recycle bags and I'll see you on the boardwalk in Coney Island across from Nathan's so please come if you're in the area um, and uh, we'll get a chance to hang out and clean the beach <laughs> First of all, thank you so much for all the likes, shares, comments, and there were so many comments. I really appreciate you guys. Um, so thank you for that. Thank you for sharing and um, subscribing. If you're new, welcome. I really hope that you stay around and you enjoy the readings and that you'll come back. And if you're returning, thank you so much. I love you guys hanging in there. Um, now, uh, th these are general readings, guys. If you would like a personal reading, um, you can click on this link right here. Um, you can also uh, check me out on Patreon. It's another way to support me. And I have posts there just for patrons. And, um, and there are reward, uh, reward levels. So check it out. You know, it's a way to uh, give back. And uh, that link's right here too. So now, um, let's go to the astrological report, shall we, for this week. Now, on the 27th, Monday, um, Mars has been backtracking. It's been in retrograde. And on Monday, it kind of what we call stations direct. It's where Mars has been really slowing down and it's coming to a halt on Monday. Now, when a planet slows down and particularly Mars is a is one of our um it's one of our personal planets what they call a personal planet because it's closer to the earth and actually you can see it in the sky at night so if you look out up at night you can see it I was looking at it last night um so it's close to the moon and you'll see it's got a red hue or depending on where you are it looked a bit yellow for me <laughs> or oh, the pollution in New York City. Anyway, um, so look up at the sky and you, you'll be able to see Mars. Now, um, as it slows down, and, and particularly when it comes to a stop, the, uh, the elements and the, and the energy of that planet is um, enhanced, if you will. It's, you know, it's uh, magnified. So you know, we could be uh, irritated. <laughs> we might want to lash out at somebody verbally and some people maybe physically. So it is a really good time to meditate, <laughs> to kind of think before you react, to understand what's going on so you get it, you know. Um, it's, it's really um, important to remain calm within the storm. Um, now, on Tuesday, it starts to move forward. So things are going to pick up for us. I mean, not initially, because it takes a while for Mars to get going. You know, it's a, it's a big planet and it's got to uh, get going in that direction. But now things can go forward because Mercury is out of retrograde and, and, and it's out of its shadow period now. So that's going straight ahead. So I think that this week we'll start to be a little more inspired to get things done. We'll start to feel like things are starting to pick up. You know, maybe it's been a bit slow over the last few weeks. You know, people go on vacations too in, in, uh, in August and we're getting ready to come up to, you know, Memorial Day. So it's the last holiday really before the kids go back to school. So people will be busy preparing for that and, and we'll feel like there's a trajectory uh, going forward. Um, so 
that's all I have to say really for the um for the astrological report this week of course the moon does lots of things it changes signs every two basically every two two and a half days um so there's a lot going on with that but there's too much there are little aspects and and it's so uh temporary the energies from that it's unless it's a full moon or a new moon it's not really uh worth discussing anyway um so let's go to your card shall we Hello Aries and welcome to your, oh that sounded a bit weird. <laughs> Hello Aries and welcome to your reading for uh, August the 27th through September the 2nd. And the first, listen, the first card out for you is the six of wands. You are going to be in celebratory mode because your ruling planet Mars is going to go direct and you will be celebrating. I feel that you are, this card is like, yes, it's about celebration. It's about completion of something, which also makes sense because we've just had the full moon. This is about you getting celebrated. You're being celebrated, Aries. I have a feeling that you got this last week. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Um, but that is on the table. And cel <laughs> clarifying it, there are two cards. One is the Nine of Pentacles. And the nine of pentacles is, this is about things starting to, you start, it's not starting, you finally kind of uh, see the value around you, the value in the effort that you've put into all the hard work you've done. It's like, it's like you've almost arrived, right? This is also a celebrating card, right? This is about celebrating too i feel that you've got the need to celebrate the need for speed darling and right next to the nine right of pentacles is the uh empress you have this incredible creative energy coming in this week that can be very lucrative for you and i feel that perhaps some of you you'll be celebrated for it now either this is You've already had this energy and you're getting celebrated for it or this is coming in and you are look the empress is this incredible sensual female energy she's creative she's magical she's very she's pregnant with brilliant ideas she's just fertile she's fertile creativity um and you know the pentacles is like you know <laughs> the wish come true card um This is brilliant energy that's coming in for you. And it could be that that uh, that uh, Mars going direct could have this effect. Now, I do have something uh, right here. And the first card is the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is one of those cups where you feel that there's a lot more to life and there's a lot more meaning in life. Um, and it's, you know, I always sing this song when this card comes up. Is that all there is, my friends? Let's keep dancing. Anyway, I know I can't sing. <laughs> but this is like, you know, you may have got all these accolades and then afterwards, is that all there is? <laughs> and clarifying it, you've got the five of wands. So I feel that there's some kind of turmoil here. There's some kind of conflict. And I'm getting that this is emotional conflict. But this could be a conflict at work. Um, and that I don't know why the word just jealousy comes up to me. I never say that word, but that just came up. So maybe there's jealousy. Maybe you're jealous of someone. Maybe there's jealousy at work over, you know, uh, your position there or your you know, your success at work. There's something going on uh, for you, Aries, for some of you, because this is a general reading. Um, now, when the Eight of Cups comes in, I always say it's about, you know, listening to your spiritual mentor, getting a spiritual mentor, hanging out with like-minded people and people that believe like you because maybe this conflict at work, it's something that needs to be addressed though because you're going to hear about it. It's going to make you disillusioned and unhappy um, and you're going to hear about it. But this is something that you ought to deal with. And in a 
but not in a combative way, in a, in a creative way, right? I have a feeling that if you handle this in a very creative way, you will get celebrated. Things will work out really well for you. And look, you have the next card that you have, <coughs> excuse me, is the Ace of Wands. It's another fiery card. Um, this is usually, this is like the spark of the start of a huge fire. So this is a brilliant, incredible opportunity. And look, you've got the, you have a, a butterfly there. So this is about change. This is a new opportunity that's going to be kind of like a change, but it's going to be, you, I, I feel that you might be a little afraid of this change, but don't be. Maybe this is internal conflict for you, worrying about this change and not knowing if this will be good for you. Um, but it will be good for you. And you've got the Knight of Pentacles clarifying it. And the Knight of Pentacles, look, all knights are about movement, right? But this knight is a knight that's, look, he's just standing still. And he's surveying the land and he's contemplating and strategizing his next move um, because he is going to move forward. But he moves forward strategically and methodically. He moves forward one step at a time. He doesn't rush in. Um, he's not, uh, you know, he's not one of those knights that's just impulsive and just goes in here. I come to save the day. No, that's not him. He's very, he's look, he's very loyal, he's really intelligent, he knows that he's ready to fight and put his life down on the line, but he's not stupid. He's not one of those knights that just goes in uh, he, without a plan. He plans. So this is saying that you've got this incredible opportunity. Yes, move forward, go with it, but take it easy. Go slow, forward slowly, methodically, and strategically. Um, but definitely keep it moving, Aries, because this is about movement. It's about taking action. Mars is going forward and Mars is your ruling planet and you are a cardinal sign. So you, this is definitely representing you. This is about, you know, getting up passionate. It's about, you know, that fiery passion. It's about starting something new. And the night is about staying with it and doing it, you know, methodically and slowly and strategically, uh, not rushing in. But you are going to be filled with passion this week. You're going to feel creative. You're going to feel inspired and you're going to see wonderful results from it. <laughs> Aries, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all and I'll see you next week. For a personal reading with Mary, go to www.liveinthesolution.com.